one is lovely. Turn. There, stop. Do we have to do this now, Graham? When would you suggest we do it? If I don't get this dress back to Jenny by tomorrow morning, we'll never get it back in time. She hasn't even finished letting out Cheryl Harvey's bodice, and she still has Sandra Hoffman's sleeves to shorten. Cheryl's mother is beside herself, of course, even though she's partly to blame for letting that child eat the way that she does turn. <laughs> It's fine, Graham. It fits perfect. Perfectly, dear. Perfectly. It fits perfectly, Graham. I'm a little concerned about the neckline. I mean, a slight glimpse of decollete is fine, but you've gotten so busty. It's almost cleavage, and that'll never do. Well, maybe I'm just wearing the wrong bra. Well, do your curtsy. Mom, <laughs> it looks lovely, sweetie. Just a few more minutes. A few more minutes? What is the point of all of this hard work and planning if the dress looks like we ran it up two crocus sacks and sent you out the door? I just can't get as excited about it as you do, Graham. At the end of the day, it's just a big old poofy white dress. <coughs> a Nakarima white is no ordinary ball gown. There are only six of them in the world. Designed and hand-stitched by Jenny Turner 50 years ago and lovingly altered by her to fit each new debutante each subsequent year. Oh, she didn't mean anything by that. The Nakarima White is the essence of our tradition. It must not simply be perfect, but a standard of perfection, an unwavering beacon of light in the world of darkness. 